So, I heard you like Devil May Cry. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, that's the name of my video series, which you can easily watch to see my full opinion. And this video isn't really going to be completely about talking about uh, every single issue to do with the new DMC. I have already said my opinion on that. I'm not here to say that. Uh, what I am here to talk about is all of the reviews are in uh, for the new DMC, and it's done, I'd even say, pretty freaking well. It's done pretty freaking well. It's gotten a lot of 9s, you know, a lot of 90%. Uh, it's gotten quite a few 8s, uh, and it's done really well, critic-wise. Metacritic, uh, I think, stands at 85% for that right now. Uh, that's if you care about reviews at all. I mean, personally, I think I just reuse reviews as a guideline to see uh, what's in the game, what the features are, just to hear what they think in the, uh, what do they think about the game, what's in the game, just just so I know what to expect more, you know, more so than if I just read a preview or whatever. Obviously, I reserve all judgments I play the game itself, but a review is always a good way of knowing, for me personally, what's going to be in the game. But it doesn't shape my opinion of the game itself, so that's not really um, a thing that bothers me too much. Uh, so, because obviously my prejudice about the game slash what I'm looking forward to in the game uh, are completely an aside when it comes to how I actually enjoy the game itself, simply because if the game is a fun game, I'll still enjoy it, and if things turn out alright, then it's fine. And in fact, that's what this whole um, podcast is about, and I'll even just start by saying, when I look at my view on it, when I look at sort of the way things have gone, from what I've seen of it, personally, it just sort of feels to me that the game in and of itself seems very, it seems like a good game. Like, don't get me wrong. Some say, you know, it's average at best, a terrible Devil May Cry game. And sure, that may be true, but the game itself isn't necessarily bad. There are probably worse games, more broken games out there. Uh, and if I could put the writing of the game aside, because the writing is kind of bad. In some cases, the, the liners are cool, but most of the one-liners are just kind of bad. Um, the thing that really, you know, gets me about the game is... It, it's supposed to be a reboot of Devil May Cry, a complete reinvention of it by Western Studio, and that's all fine in, of it, in and of itself, but many will agree with me when I say that we, as Devil May Cry fans, it's not that, I mean, at least some of us who are nice about it, it's not so much that we hate the idea of a new Devil May Cry, but more that we wanted a sequel to the already going series. I mean, Devil May Cry is only in its fourth game up until now. I mean, that's pretty young for most series. Yes, it's gone over time, starting the PS2 for Devil May Cry 1, all the way to, you know, Devil May Cry 3 on the PS2, and Devil May Cry 4 on PS2, uh, PS3, sorry, and 360, so it's a series that still had a long way to go, and, you know, with the way technology has improved, uh, graphics have gotten better, and game design has really upped its, you know, game, you'd think that we'd see a new Devil May Cry you know, based off of the adventures of, you know, normal Dante, and just see what else happens, because DMC4 was a big jump in the first place. So many people were excited for that. And I remember when I, at fr I first heard that there was a Devil May Cry 5 trailer, yeah, Devil May Cry 5 trailer, I was so incredibly uh, excited. I got up and I thought, I can't believe it, a new Devil May Cry. When I saw it, it was something completely different. I, I was more confused than shocked. Now, my full opinion of that is in that video series once again, so that's something uh, you can check out. But I personally feel that, and a lot of people say this, this game would have been perfectly fine if it was called something else, and perhaps this wasn't supposed to be a reboot. If they had said, inspired by Devil May Cry, or a spiritual successor to Devil May Cry, created by like a Western studio, sort of like a Western project to create a westernized Devil May Cry. I, I would have been perfectly fine with that. It's kind of like uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, in the sense that made by Western developer, yes, but is supposed to be sort of like a side game or a spin-off type game that is inspired by the original series and, you know, is, yeah, well, Raccoon City was supposed to be a, uh, another side to what happened in Resident Evil 2. But just along the same lines of a game that's not nece necessarily meant to be the sequel to sort of like the main canon storyline with all the characters, but rather just a side game that really explores something different and gives you a different experience. So, despite what bad things people have said about um, Operation Raccoon City, I do think that that game is a good game for people to enjoy. So, they can definitely do that. 
So if this new Devil May Cry was just an extra side game, or, you know, because like, Devil May Cry hasn't branched out. It's only got four games and hasn't really done anything, like, other than that, for its series itself. Dante has made cameos um, in different games. He, w he appeared in Beautiful Joe and PS2. He appeared in Shin Megami D uh, Tensei. Uh, what's his name? Lucifer's Call, which is known in the UK, but it's known as uh, Shin, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. He appeared in that game. Uh, I was about to give you general trivia, but you can probably look that up for yourself. And of course, he appears in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, as well as um, the original Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So, yeah, I mean, Dante is an iconic figure in and of himself, but in terms of the series itself, I feel like the series itself didn't really do anything other than just, you know, four Devil May Cry games, and obviously we've got the HD collection for the first three. So, I thought that they'd probably do something different. So when I heard about this new one, and I found out it wasn't Devil May Cry 5, I thought, oh, maybe this is supposed to be some sort of experimental side game that they're meant to, you know, branch off with or something. But the fact that this is supposed to be a westernized remake of an already good series, I just... I don't really get that. I mean, Resident Evil is still going strong. Resident Evil 4 was was great, obviously, by, way back when. 5 was great, and 6 was great, despite, you know, what people say. I think 6 was an enjoyable game. A lot of people enjoy 6, right? And 6 is still, you know, made by, directly by Capcom, and is still in line with what Resident Evil has done. So, I don't really understand why Devil May Cry didn't deserve to have a direct sequel, like a, a Devil May Cry 5. I mean, and this is where I get to the part where I think that this side story, this sorry, side story, this reboot, which I, I feel, like I said, I feel like should have been a side story, I think that this reboot perhaps could have just been a different take on the Devil May Cry series. I mean, keep the gameplay, keep the graphics, keep the story, every, keep everything intact, but make it more like it's not this is the new Devil May Cry and this is the start of a new series or this is the reboot or or you know ma make it more along the lines of this is you know a different a retelling of an already known tale about you know a demon hunter who's half demon or whatever I think that probably would have been quite interesting and I think it would have been a good game so that way you can sort of like buy it or avoid it obviously I'm just renting it personally uh, gonna enjoy it for the gameplay, graphics, and hopefully story, but it it doesn't. It, it's not a good feeling as a Devil May Cry fan knowing that the Devil May Cry as I know it will not be coming back. And I don't mean in the sense that they're gonna be remi I, I would have want them to remake anyway. Just you know, a game similar to three or four, like just a, a new game altogether would would have been nice. I would have been happy with that. This new game, yes, you know, new gameplay and uh, they've really sort of changed the style of how it works. And the combat system is solid. I wish I had more time to explore it. Um, after playing the demo, but it just feels like because we have this, Dante as we know it is gone completely. I mean, the old Dante is gone completely, and I'm not one of these people who who beats up on the new Dante for all of those reasons. Although the all of the usual reasons that is, but although it does bother me a lot for several reasons, but it just kind of makes me wonder that. You know, what? why did the original Devil May Cry series just have to disappear like that? That, in my opinion, makes me sad the most. Personally, I think that with the way Devil May Cry 3 explored uh, sort of Dante and Virgil's relationship and how, you know, Virgil wanted to sort of resurrect the demon world and g gain power and Dante wanted to stop him as well as sort of understand how he fits into all of this. As well as DMC4's also sort of personalized story, which focused on Nero, uh, you know, trying to overcome his double side and but obviously ultimately embracing it uh, using the Yamato to save Kyrie as well as inheriting it from Dante so all, all of these things have made great elements that are way more coherent you know than I guess the first Devil May Cry or Devil May Cry 2 was as far as I know and yes I've heard that the newest Devil May Cry is the most coherent one but I also feel that personally uh, a story like that would have been nice and I'd say <coughs> excuse me the next stage the next natural progression in all of this is to go from, you know, take, taking this idea of, yes, you know, over-the-top actions, not completely tongue-in-cheek humor, but just a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor, but keep things real, basically. The next Devil May Cry, if it was made, you know, in featuring um, older Dante, uh, Devil May Cry 5, if you will, I would have liked for it to be, like, a personal experience not so much like completely personal or emo or anything i mean more a case of 
a look at how obviously Dante is, is really going well with his demon slaying business and obviously you know he met Nero he's got um Trish and Lady who are by his side and obviously if you've seen the Devil May Cry anime uh, you'll know how those uh, three interact but it would have been interesting to see how obviously Dante's grown so strong he's done so much so perhaps what if all of the biggest demons of hell are coming after him not sort of like all of these bosses who in a way seem kind of big but don't really end up like that but sort of a really large scale thing think like Bayonetta think like they they basically gather together a council of like the the strongest demons possible in hell they all come together to say you know Dante this has gone on too long uh you know as a son of Sparta you know that traitor you know we've come to take you down and it's a, a look at how Dante has to really pick up the mantle to not only feed his you know his personal like vendetta against demons but also to fulfill his duty as a demon slayer to, pr to protect you know to protect the human world and I think that would have been a fantastic story it would have been powerful had phenomenal bosses even bigger than DMC4 and even bigger than Bayonetta it could have been an amazing journey with great visuals because DMC4 showed us that it doesn't have to be all sort of dark gritty and gothic to, to, to you know to be a good looking and enjoyable game it could really have fantastic visuals travel to great locations I mean Something along the lines of even Lords of Shadow, except not play like Lords of Shadow, of course, play like Devil May Cry. You know, a journey where Dante really has to, you know, not only think about his own mortality and think about his, his demon lineage, but basically decide to, you know, stand on the side of humanity and decide, decide to really fight against the demons and, and, you know, put down the, you know, the grand demons once and for all. And of course, new demons will still come and it's like the, the running theme is that, you know, work is never over. Uh, you know, Dante and the Demon Hunters, you know, Lady Trish, they always have stuff to do. Maybe even a cameo from Nero would have been nice, like Nero, probably older or something like that. But I feel that the next step for the series would have been a great, you know, kind of semi-personal look at how Dante really has to take up his mantle and do the right thing, as well as, you know, the usual sort of laughs and, and over-the-top action, of course, but also incredibly large bosses. But also bosses that are, are more normal size, so you can focus on the more like really moment to moment action that you got with like you know fighting Virgil and Devil May Cry 3. So that's that's just what I feel like would have been a great next step for the series. And it's cool that this new this new game is out. And don't get me wrong, if I play it and I really enjoy it, like if I think that the new Devil May Cry is just a good game altogether, great gameplay, great graphics, you know, decent story. If the game itself is a decent story, then I will say, cool, good game. If I enjoy it more, who knows? Maybe I'll die. Um, I'll die. Holy fuck! I'll buy it down the line. But if none of this happens, then I'll just feel that this game sort of came out. And as a big fan of the series. I, I didn't really care and what ended up happening was the original series you know was never visited again all I have is the games to play but um, I'm, I'm not one for putting down new ideas I do accept new ideas and new things and as long as it's fun then I'll look forward to you know playing it but other than that uh, I'd say the rest really is up to you to decide I mean tell me what you think tell me what you th how you feel about the new series how you feel that maybe a new canon Devil May Cry should have gone you know, all that kind of thing. It, it's definitely up to you. Uh, but this is just what I think, so don't uh, let it get in the way of how you feel about the game. Don't don't worry, this is just my opinion. If you hate the game still, if you hate New Dante, that's perfectly fine. Or if you love him, that's perfectly fine too. Um, you know, I always say that uh, the choice is yours when it comes to these kind of things. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my opinion. Um, yeah, you know, like, comment, share, and uh, just... You know, tell me what you think of the full game, when, maybe when it comes out through Facebook or Twitter or whatever. You know, hit me up and all that. So yeah, this has been JST, uh, Yamandro Sotuna. See everybody later.